Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, call Layim La Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Ha'ruchakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and great millstone who will wear the title of truth. Peace, love, blessings, salutations to you, Akim, the support of the Bayasha, double data house of David. <clears throat> so, this one through the spirit. Um, dollar collapsing fast. All right. And as well as other topics, of course, uh, drive. You know, um, just uh, through the spirit. Watching as well as praying, you know, seeing how quickly things are moving, and all it really takes is one major event. All it's really going to take is one major event for this thing to uh, go down, all right? In all actuality, like the scriptures say, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, man, all right? And we live in a, a hypocritical society. We had uh, creepy Joe Biden say, um, "What do you say? Let's finish. Let's let's finish what we started." <laughs> you know, which those are those are words. So one thing about this devil is uh, the forked tongue and the wordplay. All right, those are words, basically letting you know that they're moving forward and they plan on accomplishing to fill, to fill their belly according to Job the 20th chapter okay that's why we're seeing a lot of news as far as um, the economy collapsing the dollar not being no value and more leakage especially to these um peons out here right these regular u.s citizens that are not in the know right or you regular israelites that are not in the truth we're seeing a lot more information leak out what's headed towards you know what with what's heading towards the plans of the elites and why because you gotta have controversy you gotta have drama you gotta have whistleblowers you gotta have people that dig into certain specific things in a, in a specific manner Alright Because it all leaks out to the elect anyway It all leaks out to the prophets So we can put it out there To the um, To, to the uh, hopefully elect man The sheep Okay Two or three witnesses man You know you gotta have, Like brother's been going into You gotta have that third witness Alright Which Through the spirit man this stuff, it, hey, it's, it's, it's going down, all right? It's, it's going down. You know, brother's been experiencing some specific things, revelations, you know, or even at that hell, temptation hell. Come on, bro. This is why there's accidents all the time. You know, so I can spend, I don't know what's up with this driving, like people driving, man. This is like, but anywho, you know, brother, you know, brother's been experiencing specific things, you know, and um, just saying it the least, you know, look, man, it's all for a reason, all right? There's everything for a reason, man. It happens for a reason. And there's a, and there's always, so I notice in this truth, there's always a wave to where, I, you know, you, you'll talk to a brother, you like, man, I'm catching this, and you you know, then the Lord will lighten it up, and then you know it's like, damn, brother, I'm, I'm going through this. I, you know, it, you know, call by your help, I should not shy, man. You know, the trying of our faith, working with patience. Okay, and patience is a virtue. You know, and virtue means a, a a skill. All right, a good skill. And um, through the spirit. This dollar collapsing, you know, I noticed too, you know, the Lord don't want his men complacent. You know, he don't he don't want them to be just I'm cool with this, you know. He don't want that. And I speak that off of experience, you know. 
He wants us to be moved because this ain't this ain't the finish line. America's not the finish line, man. All right. <clears throat> the scriptures talk about in the book of Revelations how uh, um, we're gonna uh, um, receive, uh, we're gonna have victory. All right. We're gonna overcome through the blood of the Lamb. You know, overcome what? Everything that's about to happen. See, Christians get things twisted up. They use that in a sense of your everyday life. Fuck these. Fuck this everyday life shit, man. Shit is temporary. <laughs> According to First Corinthians, the fourth chapter. This is ten. This is a temporary life, man. We get our daily bread. All right. We get our daily bread, but this lifestyle that we are in, everything that comes with it is temporary. You go to the jewelry store, you buy jewelry, it's temporary. All right? You get a female. All right? Temporary. They're temporary. All right? They're here for one second. You know, now let me put the balance in perspective. The Lord can bless you with a female. Don't get me wrong. That's good by you, boom. That's cool. You know, we hope for that. But at the end of the day, you know, even King Solomon said, out of a thousand, you, hey, uh, let me say that. King Solomon said that. You know what I'm hitting toward. But even Apostle Paul said, you should have trouble in the flesh. All right? And those are things to, to, to harp, harp upon through the Spirit because, you know, having trouble in the flesh with a, a, a female on the side puts you in the mindset of being having terror. Now, if you can handle it, the Lord's not going to give you something you can't handle but like i've heard other brothers say you know sometimes man you got you, i mean you know you're going to this truth if you never really dealt with a woman you 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 thinking like oh yeah i want a wife you gotta know, get your goddamn heart broken man you know what happens when you do you get tougher you get stronger okay and then the lord brings around somebody that you can handle that's what it phases man phases in his truth okay i know personally through experience a man that had, that had traveled had much experience man i ain't no top-notch dog i'm this and that no man that ain't me i'm just stating the obvious come on man what are y'all doing goodness man i swear man not swear but you know people are out y'all it gotta be that two, one pop Tupac jab shit, man. Something, man. Because these people are out here driving ridiculous, man. God damn. Anywho, you know, through the spirit, man, things are happening. And I'm going to say straight up, man, look. I caught a badass virus sickness, whatever you want to call it, man. Ah, man. Like, I, I've, I've been under the weather but literally like this is this is one of the worst worst i've caught in my whole lifetime not just in the truth but in my whole lifetime man and you can still still probably hear it a little bit but and it lasted it lasted a while man you know and i was like damn you know colloidal silver echinacea i'm using teas this shit would not let up man I'm like, damn, what the what the hell, man? You know, and like the apostles, man, we don't go to no fucking doctors, man. You know, we don't go to the, the the pharmacist. They're just gonna give you some antibiotics or steroids and tell you it's gonna clear up and the shit gonna come back, man. You know? But through the spirit, man, you know, the Lord is fucking, you know, letting it up, letting it up on me. You know, call by your house, I should shine for that. But man, shit sucked, man. You know, it, it sucked. Shit sucked, man. And then on top of that, having to having to be at work, get hired on a new job, having to be at work, and 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 you know, it's just you just going through ailments, man. You know, you just going through ailments. You like, damn, man. Like, you want to leave, but you know you can't, man. You know, it's, it's endurance, man. You know, through the spirit, you know, certain things, 
certain things in his truth are unavoidable, man. You know? Certain things in his truth are just unavoidable, uh, unavoidable, man. And you'll start to come to realize that through the spirit. Like, I'm thinking like, damn, well, I don't really do nothing, you know? Just, hey, and it goes to show me, too, that the flesh is weak, man. It, it don't profit anything. All right? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. It don't profit anything. It don't profit you really anything, man. That's why we got to be changed. We got to be changed out of these uh, of corruptibles into the incorruptible. You know? But, again, prophecy coming to pass through the spirit. You know, a brother's man holding on. Just hold on through the spirit, man. Even when even when you weak, you at your weakest, man. Just hold on, man. I tell you, man, this shit, this shit sucks, man. This this flesh that we in. Why is this mind not moving? You know, it, it it definitely sucks, man. You really don't know how weak your flesh is, man, till you catch an ailment. Especially when you get older with age, you know. You really don't know. You know, it's 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 bad enough. Brothers is battling the whole world, but then this flesh come into play. And this is one thing that we have to, you know, that's one of the main things that we're gonna overcome through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim is the flesh. Just like Yahweh Shai did. He overcame his flesh. And remember the Lord prayed to the Heavenly Father. How we gotta stop. The Lord prayed to the Heavenly Father, you know. To, to, to let that judgment uh, pass and there was you know let there be another way but the heavenly father didn't answer meaning there is no other way and the lord went through it he took it champ you know and just like us you know whatever lord willing whatever we're faced with we just pray to the lord we pray to Yahweh Bashem al that we're worthy to escape it or we're worthy to take it man you know he put the spirit on us to just take it but with that I'm going to say Shalom